So you watched someone on YouTube who said you can make a ton of silver by transporting and resource refining. But every journey from one city to another is taking its toll on you and you want to be able to carry more resources per trip. Today we're going to talk about 4 ways you can increase your carrying capacity. And make sure to watch my video on the best transport mounts through safe zones to maximize your transports. This won't be a BurnstoneTV.com video without a giveaway, so stay tuned until the end to know how you can win free silver. Let's jump right away to number 4. An item that can increase your carrying capacity by a little are shoes. Some new players may not actually know this, but one of the passive skills on your shoe slot can increase your carrying capacity. To do this, you need to select the courier passive on your shoes. This might not give you much additional carrying capacity, but it definitely enables you to add just a little more items or resources on your inventory. When transporting resources, you need to take advantage of every added carrying capacity. How much more weight you can carry will depend on the item power of the shoes. Higher item power means higher capacity. If you are on a tight budget, buy the cheapest high tier shoes you can find. It doesn't matter if it's cloth, leather, or plate shoes. Do note that using artifact shoes will give you more carrying capacity. Another lesser known item for new players is gathering backpacks, which is the number 3 item on our list. Although it may seem like backpacks need to go to the bag slot, it actually doesn't. Gathering backpack goes to the cape slot which means you can still equip a bag alongside it. When transporting raw resources, make sure to equip the appropriate backpack to reduce the weight of the resources which in turn will make you carry more. The carrier passive that these backpacks have covers the same tier of resources and everything below it. If you want to reduce the weight of tier 4 hides that you want to transport, make sure to equip at least tier 4 skinner backpack. That specific backpack can also reduce the weight of lower tier hide resources. For newer players, here are the gathering backpacks with their corresponding resources. As I mentioned, the skinner backpack lessens the weight of hides. The miner backpack covers ores. Use lumberjack backpacks for logs. Carry more fiber with a harvester backpack, and you can reduce the weight of rocks by using a quarrier backpack. Number 2 on our list are the bags. Bags are the best friends of transporters. Equipping a bag is one of the cheapest permanent ways to increase your carrying capacity. There is really nothing much to say about this equipment. Buy a bag that you can afford, equip it, and go on your merry way. These items have one purpose and one purpose only. To increase your carrying capacity. And coming in at number 1 is the favorite food of transporters, pies. Specifically, pork pies. Pies are the cheapest temporary ways to increase your carrying capacity. Do note that the effect only lasts for 30 minutes per food. Make sure to carry several pies on your journey because you don't want to find yourself overloaded in the middle of your trip. Trust me, I've been in that situation where I was stuck at 160% weight, moving as slow as a snail. It took me almost an hour just to go from one city to another because I forgot to bring extra pork pies. Don't make the same mistakes as I did when I was a new player. When it comes to enchanted pork pies, I don't recommend buying them. A tier 7.1 pork pie will cost as much as 8 times the price of a tier 7 flat pork pie and will only give you extra 5% carrying capacity. The only exception that I can think of to justify buying enchanted pork pies is when you're using a mammoth and transporting a crap ton of food to another city. That extra 5% on a mammoth is huge, but for every other mount, don't bother wasting more silver for that extra 5%. But as always, that is just a recommendation. You can definitely do whatever you feel like doing in this game. That is it for the guide. Now let's switch over to the giveaways. Let's first announce the winners of last week's video which was all about the upcoming daily production bonus which I highly recommend watching if you want to know more about the feature and more importantly how to take advantage of it because the market prices will definitely be chaotic. The winner of 2.5 million silver picked from the comment section is White Panther Lily. Congratulations! 
And another winner of the same prize picked from the Google Forms at BurnstoneTV.com is... Shipwrecker69. Congratulations to both of our winners and make sure to check your in-game mail to know how you can claim your prize. Last week's video received 71 likes and 99 valid Google Form entries. And as a result, we will add 2.3 million silver in this week's giveaway, which makes a total of 5.3 million silver. So make sure to click that like button in this video and enter via the Google form at BurnstoneTV.com to increase the price for next week. To get a chance to win 2.3 million silver, all you have to do is to like this video, subscribe to the channel because we are nearing 10,000 subscribers and it would really make me happy to reach that goal and lastly, comment your in-game name. But if you want to win 3 million silver, click the link in the description that says giveaway and complete a Google form at burnzonetv.com. It's that simple. Remember to scroll all the way down because there are always multiple giveaways on that page. Also, don't miss out on the 20 million silver Albion online quiz happening on Monday, June 6, 2022 at 9.30 a.m. EST. You can watch this video to know more about that event. That's it for the entire video guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. But until then, this has been Bernard from BurnstoneTV.com saying do something you love every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.